Pat the Moby guy. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my book for the very first time. Today's video we are going to be talking about Promising Young Woman from directorial debutee Emerald Fennell. This film struck a massive chord at Sundance 2020 and it has kind of really built an interesting divisive kind of plethora of discussion but a lot of positives are coming out of this mainly because of Carrie Mulligan and Fennell's work. Obviously Carrie Mulligan is a tremendous actor and she is probably one of my favourite current working actors in the world. I think her in Wildlife, Shame, Inside Lewin Davis, Great Gatsby in Education, Drive, I think she is tremendous and she blends herself so well into the characters that she portrays. And for me, this was kind of like my main kind of attachment to this film. And not knowing much about it, I was very excited. And we're here to discuss it. Promising Young Woman follows the story of Cassie, who is haunted by a tragedy in her past as she takes revenge on the predatory men who are unlucky enough to cross her path. Emerald Fennell's film is a twisted thriller that is blended with a dark comedy, that is blended with a rom-com. It is a very oddly tonal balance that is kind of unparalleled because it fits very well within the circumference of the film. It kind of sets its tone in a, not an oddly quirky film like Kajillionaire, but it really sets itself as something that's quite different. And it's very refreshing within its kind of intake and the messages that it's trying to portray. And once I got into this film, I just didn't really know where we were going next. It, it's very unexpected how the narrative really flows itself. And while at times this dark comedy hits in, it's never awkward, it's never uncomfortable. It just adjusts itself very nicely and you don't necessarily know where the next punch is coming, but it's always a pleasant surprise and it's a very um, tasty treat, I think, within that kind of idea. And also it's it's beautifully hypercolorized in a in a very kind of juxtaposing kind of sense because this film is about revenge and male toxicity and kind of the rage, the female rage kind of building because of the men around them. And this kind of hypercolorization makes it feel like a pop video at times, but it's not. It's honestly, it has a lot of grit to it and a lot of gristle that needs to be like kind of devoured and I kind of enjoy the vengeful elements of this film and I think vengeful films are a kind of necessity I think within our film world and it's really fits well into this kind of genre but also it has a lot more to say I think and Fennell herself has actually said about this film she kind of wants to build a hybrid genre of film of the things that she loves and it's kind of this idea of the nice guy actually becoming the toxic male and the this kind of sense of the spoof of a rom-com where we think the nice guy is going to look after the girl but actually he is actually the, the dickhead and basically what Cassie does is she makes them realize that they are not the nice person that they try to portray themselves and it is brilliant the way that Fennell kind of brings this to the table and it's not obvious at all it takes its time there's a process to every time Cassie is doing something to kind of weave this kind this person into being enticed by her and I love this sense of characterization from Carrie Mulligan. Obviously, this is Carrie Mulligan's film. I have no question of that with this. She really brings Cassie to life. And I think for any actor to be able to kind of range so many emotions and ideas and concepts into a performance like this, it really just shows you the detriment and the tenacity that Mulligan and Fennell has for the subject matter. And I honestly loved Carrie Mulligan in this film. And I don't know if it's my favorite Mulligan performance, just yet. I, I have to watch this again, but honestly, going into award season, I hope that she gets recognized for this because it is a beautiful, well-crafted, gritty performance. It's absolutely fantastic. And what I actually enjoy about this film as well is the connection that she has with Bo Burnham's character. And this kind of sense of, does she kind of build this reconciliation with men? Um, it's a nicely balanced way and I think Bo Burnham brings a lot to the table. There's a particular scene with a Paris Hilton song that I 
absolutely loved and <laughs> I was so shocked when I saw it but um, the soundtrack just works so well the sense of camera the framing as well there's a lot of uh, when she's looking down on men I like the, like the, the, the perception of the, the lens being a lot higher and she's looking down and they're looking up at her it's just very clever very sleek editing very smooth in its kind of intake I think the ending is going to kind of be the part where people decide if it's a good film or not I kind of like the ending. I didn't think it was perfect, but I really just think Emerald Fennell just knocked this out of the park and Carrie Mulligan delivered yet again. I think Promising Young Woman is one of the best films I've seen this year. I say this a lot on my channel because I review a lot of the films I like in general and not the ones I hate, but I truly, truly loved Promising Young Woman. This is going to be out on Christmas Day in America, I believe in cinemas only, I think. And it's not gonna be out in the United Kingdom until like February the 12th, just before Valentine's Day. So it's gonna be a good one to go watch with anybody. <laughs> it's gonna be a good first date. Um, have you seen Promising Young Woman? Please let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. And if not, what is your favorite Carrie Mulligan performance? And I want a detailed 5,000 word essay about that. I don't really, but anyway, Potentially, this is actually one of the last new film reviews I will be giving in 2020, which is kind of weird, considering I've reviewed a film every week. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. I still have a few more videos to end the year with. I have my Eyes Wide Shut Christmas video. We have our So You Want to Get Into series kicking off with Hong Sang Soo. And don't forget that we will be doing our Christmas special bonanza of talking movies this very Friday. That is going to be the 18th. So that's 8 p.m. GMT, and we have more than two guests. It's gonna be a bumper cast. So keep an eye out on my social medias to let you know what is going on. And I'll leave the links over to Huss's channel for Talking Movies. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Like, share, subscribe, do as you please. And as we normally say on this channel, Dios danke, obrigado, merci beaucoup, arigato, danke schön, bitte schön, all the shins. And obviously, never change. Bye.